The attorney for Just Us Kids Early Learning Center says 24-year-old Adam Justice, who has been charged with child pornography, passed a background check before being hired. But are these background checks good enough? News 18's Elizabeth Rentschler took a closer look at what those background checks include. She joins us now live. Elizabeth. Indiana law requires that any employee or even volunteer of any child service provider in the state of Indiana pass not only a background check, but a fingerprint screening. It's something some parents say they're pleased with, but something others say they'd like to see more of. When a background check was run on 24-year-old Adam Justice back in 2012, it came back clean and clear. Those came back with the approval and not, not, no problems. But that's all changed for the former Just Us Kids employee. Monday, Justice was charged with three counts of possession of child pornography and three counts of child exploitation. It's something Just Us Kids attorney Wayne Zolkowski says they never expected. Obviously, again, it was a complete surprise because these are these are new charges. These were things that were just brought recently, and up until Sunday morning, we had no idea anything inappropriate was happening with our with our employee. Indiana law states that employees and volunteers of any child care facility are required to pass a national background check and fingerprint screening. Providers are also required to do a local limited background check every year, which Zolkowski says just as kids abides by. But is a background check enough? West Lafayette resident Natalie Ross says while she thinks background checks should be required, she thinks even more could be done. There are many things that a background check doesn't check for and doesn't see, uh, like everyday life. A lot of people don't see what they're doing. But others, like Kevin McIntyre, believe not much more can be done without violating others' constitutional rights. You can nitpick and say, well, it's, it's a daycare job, you know, you should... You should be able to dig into somebody's life further, but the thing is, I mean, that's what the Constitution's there for, is to protect people from that kind of stuff. It's, it's catch-22. Tacoa Guesswine has friends whose children attend Just Us Kids, and while she's never had an experience with the Early Learning Center, she says she believes they acted appropriately. Of course, I'm worried about the people that he's been exposed to this year. However, I think the school did everything they could have done, considering. Zulkowski says outside of a background check, Just Us Kids also has its own safety procedures in place. Those include always having doors to every classroom open and never leaving a teacher one-on-one -on -one with a student. Wayne Zolkowski says they had full attendance here at Just Us Kids today, and many parents we spoke with after that parent-teacher conference last night say despite what Adam Justice did, they will still keep their kids enrolled at the center. Reporting live in West Lafayette, Elizabeth Rentschler, News 18.